The Portsmouth Commonwealth's attorney does not expect to file charges against the man whose infant was found dead in his van Friday. Five-month-old Jeremy Rivera of Suffolk was found in this parking lot of a daycare just before four in the afternoon. Several people heard the father crying and stopped to perform CPR, but it was too late. Ten of your side, Stephanie Harris sat down with the Commonwealth's attorney this afternoon. Stephanie? Yeah, Nicole Romadley says this appears to be just a tragic accident. The father dropped off his five and six year old children at a school for a summer program and was going to drop off the baby at daycare. He forgot and went on to work. When he left work that afternoon, he went straight to the daycare to pick up baby Jeremy, only to realize he had never dropped him off. These pictures have haunted many for the last three days. Police tape surrounding a daycare where a baby was found dead in a van. Finally, some answers, but no comfort. Bad things happen to good people sometimes, and, uh, and, and from what I know so far, that's what has happened here. Commonwealth Attorney Earl Mobley says there is no sign the child was ever abused or neglected. He points out the van has tinted windows, so no one at the father's work downtown, nor the father himself, would have seen the baby at a glance. My heart certainly goes out to them. I mean, a terrible tragedy. Hearts are also breaking at the daycare. The CEO could not tell us how long baby Jeremy had been coming here, only that his caregivers are also like family, now dealing with the loss of their child. We've contacted Edmark Hospices to see if they could help us potentially with some grief counseling for those who we think might need something, um, some support. In her 20 years with the daycare, she says she has never experienced anything as devastating as this. It's important to not forget that the family is going through a crisis and that it is hard for them no matter what. As a mother who also lost a son, she feels their pain. As a father who lost a baby girl years ago, so does Mobley. I can tell them from experience that, uh, uh, that you know, their pain will subside. Uh, uh, it will never go completely away. Mobley says case law is clear. There has to be a willful act or omission to charge someone with child neglect. And unless the autopsy or police turn up new evidence, that does not seem to be the case here. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side. The Commonwealth's attorney says it typically takes six weeks for autopsy results to come back. And that's when he will make a final decision on whether or not to file charges.